Thanks to money from Norfolk Southern and two federal grants, there's now a place in East Palestine dedicated solely to helping people, people mentally affected by the train derailment. And it's all for free. With what's being offered, here's First News anchor Stan Boney. In a former doctor's office on Route 14 across from the well-known welcome sign is the East Palestine Resiliency Center, where this afternoon the ribbon was cut followed by an open house hosted by the Columbiana County Mental Health and Recovery Services Board, which is operating the center. And this building is here to kind of help people and lend a hand to people to help them get back up in whatever way works for them. The services are free for anyone living in four zip codes around East Palestine who worked in the village during the derailment or first responders who assisted. It's bouncing back, but it's also preparing you for what's to come, right? And making people and treating people the whole person. They describe it as a holistic approach with a massage room, a children's room, and a room for yoga. There's counseling and support groups. Ashley Davis is a psychotherapist who provides Cedric, a support dog. She's been counseling the people of East Palestine. Well, it's been turbulent, yes. So as uh, the anniversary, there was a lot of uh, more community uh, conflict and internal issues and then the settlement came and so it's been very sadly fascinating to watch. Norfolk Southern provided $600,000 to buy the building. A federal grant to provide the free services expires December 31st but it's hoped additional money will be available. The long-term plan for the East Palestine Resiliency Center is to make it a full-service mental health and recovery facility serving everyone in Columbiana County. Just outside of East Palestine, Stan Boney, WKBN 27 First News. Hi everyone, I'm Lindsay Watson. Thanks for watching the WKBN 27 First News YouTube channel. If you want more video news, subscribe to our channel and don't forget to download the WKBN 27 First News app for breaking news alerts.